So in physics, there's a formula for kinetic energy. Can you tell me what that is? Uh, I don't remember. So we say kinetic energy is half mv squared. So in this one, we can see that kinetic energy depends on mass and speed, v's speed. Now let me divide everything by m. So that will cancel this m out and I'll have this. So from here, you can see things. The speed depends on kinetic energy and speed depends on mass because these two things affect the value of the speed. And remember yesterday I said that things that are on the same level, they are directly related and things that are on opposite level, they're inversely related. Sure, there's a square there and sure there's a number there, but we are going to ignore that for now. We're only looking at the relation. So we can see that kinetic energy directly affects the speed because they're on the same level and mass and speed are inversely related. What is that supposed to do? That shows that things with high mass move slower if you want them to move at fixed temp speed. And why am I fixing them? Because uh, all of them have, so we have average kinetic energy. So the speed of diffusion depends on two things. The kinetic energy of individual particle and the mass of individual particle. So for every particle, the speed depends on kinetic energy that it has and the mass that it has. So from here, we can see that speed or rate of diffusion increases if you have higher kinetic energy and lower mass. Where does kinetic energy come from? Temperature. That is one way of looking at it. So higher temperature means higher kinetic energy, things will move faster. So when you heat something up, it moves faster. It diffuses faster. And lower mass, which means MR, relative mass of things. Every particle that we know, we have assigned it a relative mass. And that relative mass depends, is given in the periodic table. So for example, if you have chlorine, then that is Cl2. And I have hydrogen, that is H2. So if they're at the same temperature, remember, temperature changes kinetic energy, which changes the rate of diffusion. So if they're at the same temperature, then their speed of diffusion or rate of diffusion does not depend on temperature because both the same and the norm. But MR depends karega. So how do we calculate MR? We look at it in the prior table and we add average mass of all the atoms. So for chlorine, we have two chlorine atoms and for hydrogen, we have two hydrogen atoms. So chlorine's mass is 35.5, again from the periodic table. So that's a mass of 71. And for hydrogen, the mass is one. So two times one, that is still two. So we can clearly see that hydrogen has a low mass. And if temperature is the same, hydrogen is much, much faster at diffusion than chlorine. Okay, let's look at another one. Nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Let's look at their mass. Nitrogen is two nitrogen atoms and carbon monoxide is simply a carbon atom and an oxygen atom. Nitrogen's mass is 14, so 2 times 14 is 28. Carbon's mass is 12, oxygen mass is 16, that's a total of 28. Here we can see equal MR, so equal rate of diffusion. Here this is faster, this is slower, and that's interesting. Even though they're different gases, they diffuse at the same rate. They will move at the same rate. And what is the eventual goal? Homogeneity. Everything distributed uniformly. Okay. 